that's not the lunar surface. That's the river down the street in a rainstorm looking up from the bottom. How you doing? I'm really getting fascinated by underwater photography. And I got a, a cheap little rig that I want to show you. Help me get these shots. Just random shots from... I know GoPros is a lot of money and all that, but uh, I've got a way of doing it. My whole system costs maybe 120 bucks. And this is, these are just uh, screen captures from the video that I shoot. Look at that guy. Yeah. And, uh, and then there you get this. People. Here's my design. Very rudimentary drawing, I apologize, but there's the kayak. And you see a float, and a, down a little lower is one camera, and then even farther still is two cameras. Goes down to about eight feet below the surface. The fish that I like to look at are about eight feet. First thing I did was, this may be over-designed, and it sure doesn't make it easy, but this is whippersnipper. Canadian Tire had a real, real, whole roll of it for like six bucks, so I got some. Ordered a camera, an action camera. This one is a... And man, it has way more attachments than I'm ever going to use. This was about 60 bucks on uh, Amazon. And then I happened to spot this on clearance at the Walmart. Aluratech, that was $49. Then I got a float for six bucks or something at the Canadian Tire. Also, while I was getting the uh, the whipper snipper cable, let me show you. First thing we got. First thing that goes in the water is this camera number two. The lower one is camera number two. Get off the table. All right, so here we go. It goes like this. And as you can see, in the back there's a weight, just a fishing weight. And I've got it with a cable tie so that it tilts slightly forward and down. Here's some, some slack that I can add or subtract if I want it to go a little, uh, you know, not so far apart. Next comes camera one. That's this one. Again, this is a little higher up, pointed down, and hopefully forward. I'm trying to get it going forward so I can see what's coming rather than seeing what I missed. And then, at about the eight foot mark, there's my float. Here's the kind of fasteners I've been using. Little figure eight things, they work really well. And then, the last of all, most important thing, that clips on my safety vest as I'm kayaking. So there it is. That's what it looks like on paper. So I clip this on. Hopefully it's not all tangled. Most of the time I'm untangling it, but this seems to work okay. Once it's all good, float to keep things going. And cable ties are your friends, I'm telling you. Oh, and a couple of cable ties I've got set so that if I want maybe more of a straight forward looking outward, I can adjust it that way. Just getting over this little piece of rubber. Okay. There. Like so. And most of the time, though, being as high as it is, I think I'm going to want it pointed down. So there, there it is. I hope this helps inspire your underwater photography. So go have fun. Thanks for watching.